All right, so I need to write a literary analysis essay. Huh. I wonder what I should write it about. Hmm. Maybe I will write it about Peter Rabbit. That sounds like a good one because I love the story about Peter Rabbit. Yeah. So I'm going to start with a title for funsies. Um, too much bunny trouble. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a good title. All right, when I start my literary analysis essay, I probably need to start with a hook, something to grab my reader and make them interested. I don't want to add a question, though, because Miss Daffenberger hates that. And I don't want to do talk do any kind of talking to the reader because that's horrible as well maybe I should start with something like often people do not think through their actions Many times, not thinking things through leads to unnecessary trouble. In The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter, a mother bunny warns her children not to go into the local farmer's vegetable patch. Her son, Peter, disregards her warning and goes anyway because he wants to eat the delicious vegetables. He doesn't, he does not think through his actions and ends up being, being almost caught by old farmer McGregor. It is important to think actions through because The consequences, it is important to think actions through. If a person does not think through their actions, there could be negative consequences both for the person and for their community. Okay, so just to be clear, this is my hook. This is my bridge. This is my thesis. It's a thesis because it's an opinion. It's my thesis because it's a statement. It's my thesis because it's um, the theme. I feel like I just said that. And then this is my organizational statement because I'm talking about what I'm going to talk about in my body paragraph. You'll notice that I only have sort of two parts to my organizational statement. This is because I'm only going to do two body paragraphs. Um, because this isn't a serious thing. I'm also going to make quotes up. So there you go. All right, so my first body paragraph is going to be about um, not thinking through your actions has negative consequences for the person. So I'm going to start probably by talking about the tale of Peter Rabbit again and maybe mentioning what the title is. So in... The Tale of Peter Rabbit, 
comma by Beatrix Potter, that's the author, comma, Peter is a young bunny who likes vegetables. He wants to go into Farmer McGregor's vegetable patch, even though his mother warns him not to. He doesn't, ah, he does not think through his actions and the consequences are negative. For example, he loses his beautiful blue coat. Potter 13. I don't actually know what page it is. Since he had not thought about the danger of being caught in the garden, he did not have an escape route already planned. Having to escape quickly through the fence meant that his beautiful blue coat got stuck. He also chose to hide in a damp pot while running from Farmer McGregor. Potter, let's do 11. I have no idea what pages these are. He also chose to hide in a damp pot while running from Farmer McGregor. If he had thought through his actions more, he would have been able to choose a better hiding spot. As it was, he did not. And hiding in the damp pot gave him a, made him catch a cold. Let's scroll down. Both losing a beautiful blue coat and catching a cold were negative consequences that Peter Rabbit could have avoided if he had thought through his actions to their potential consequences. Peter Rabbit's actions of not thinking things through ahead of time not only impacted him negatively, but may also impact his community negatively. His mother had already mentioned that his father, that Peter's father, let's do Peter's father instead of his father, so it's clearer that Peter's father was killed and eaten by Farmer McGregor because he was caught in the garden. Potter, two. In case you guys didn't notice that in the actual original Peter Rabbit, the tale of Peter Rabbit, the mom is like, yeah, your dad got caught in a pie. Yeah, that means that Farmer McGregor caught him and ate him. So the mom is like, don't go into Farmer McGregor's garden because that's how your dad died. So anyways, Getting back to the essay, his mother had already mentioned that Peter's father was killed and eaten by Farmer McGregor because he was caught in the garden. I could probably rewrite that because it doesn't, it's not necessarily super clear, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Do, do, do. His mother had already mentioned that Peter's father was killed and eaten by Farmer McGregor because he was caught in the garden. This had a negative impact on the community because it meant the loss of a member of the community. If Peter had been killed as well by Farmer McGregor, 
this would also have had a, a negative impact on the community. Peter has a mother and three sisters to come home to, Potter one. They would be very upset if he were to be eaten by Farmer McGregor. It would have a negative impact on the rabbit community. <laughs> Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail would likely face lifelong impacts as a result of their brother being eaten by the local farmer. Peter not thinking, hmm, not thinking through his actions does not only impact Peter negatively, but the whole community as well. Okay, we're going to take a pause really quick so that we can go back and we can look at what all the different parts of this are. So if we say, In the Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter, Peter is a young bunny who likes vegetables. This is going to be our topic sentence because it is introducing um, this paragraph. And I would also argue that the next two sentences are part of the topic as well. I could theoretically combine all of these. Let me see, let me see if I can do that. In the tale of Peter Rabbit, Peter is a young bunny who ignores his mother's warnings to not go into Farmer McGregor's garden and experiences negative consequences as a result. That's a lot nicer, but you don't have to do that necessarily. I just was thinking to myself, oh, three sentences for a topic sentence is kind of long. And then I'm starting my actual quotes from the book from here where it says, for example, for example is one of our sort of traditional transition words. But I'm telling you something in the plot and then citing it that helps me explain the negative consequences um, that Peter Rabbit faces because he does not think through his actions of going into Farmer McGregor's vegetable patch. So this is quote number one with an MLA citation. Woo! Since he had not thought about the danger of being caught in the garden, he did not have an escape route already planned. Having to escape quickly through the fence, and that his beautiful blue coat got stuck. Now, this is the explanation for how that quote connects to or proves your main idea of Peter Rabbit not thinking through his actions creates negative consequences or not thinking through your actions creates negative consequences. So this is the explanation of how the quote supports the theme slash thesis, okay? And you might need to even spell it out a little bit more obviously, saying that like getting, since Peter Rabbit did not think through his actions of going into Farmer McGregor's garden, is he experienced the negative consequence of having his beautiful blue coat get stuck in the fence he tried to escape through. Here's another quote from the book. He chose to hide in a damp pot while running from Farmer McGregor. So this is our quote number two with an MLA citation. Okay. And then the explanation, if he had thought through his actions more, he would have been able to choose a better hiding spot. As it was, he did not. And hiding in the damp pot made him catch up cold. So this is the explanation of how the quote supports the theme or thesis. Remember that for a literary analysis paper, your 
theme is your thesis, perhaps. Then this sentence, both losing a beautiful blue coat and catching a, neg catching a cold were negative consequences that Peter Rabbit could have avoided if he had thought through his actions to their potential consequences. This is what I like to call a link to thesis or LTT because it is finishing that paragraph, but it is also linking back to the thesis or the theme. You'll notice that I'm using literally two the exact same wording of negative consequences and thinking through his actions so that it's like super obvious that I am linking back to that thesis. Same here in the second body paragraph, Peter Rabbit's actions of not thinking things through ahead of time not only impacted him negatively, but may also impact his community negatively. So this is a topic sentence, but I am also topic sentence, but also connecting back to the theme slash thesis. The theme and the thesis are the same thing for this essay. Okay, then the next thing I did was I didn't need quite so many explaining sentences. So the next thing I have, his mother had already mentioned that Peter's father was eaten and killed by Farmer McGregor because he was caught in the garden. This is my supporting quote. with an MLA citation, I would like you to notice as well that I am paraphrasing. I am not direct quoting. I'm mostly doing this just because I don't have the book in front of me, but I want to be really, really, really clear that you can do both. You can either paraphrase or you can direct quote. Both are okay, but both need to have an MLA citation. Then here's my explanation. This had a negative impact on the community because it meant the loss of a member of the community. Negative, 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 negative. Explanation of how the quote supports the thesis, which is also the theme. The theme and the thesis are the same thing for this essay. If Peter had been killed by, as well by Farmer McGregor, this would have had a negative impact on the community. Peter has a mother and three sisters to come home to. There's another one of our quotes. But again, this one is paraphrased. I put it into my own words. That is what it means to paraphrase. I put it in my own words. But just because I put it in my own words doesn't mean that I wrote the tale of Peter Rabbit. So I still have to cite it. Quote number two, with an MLA citation. Nice. They would be very upset, Peter's mother and three sisters, if he were to be eaten by Farmer McGregor. It would have a negative impact on the rabbit community. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail would likely face lifelong impacts as a, as a result of their brother being eaten by the local farmer. Not thinking through his actions does not only impact Peter negatively, but the whole community as well. So this is our explanation of the quote, of how the quote supports the thesis or the theme. They are the same thing. The thesis and the theme are the same thing. And then finally, here's our link back to the thesis. LTT, link to thesis, LTT, link to thesis, link back to the thesis. And again, I'm using those words specifically that I used in my thesis, negatively thinking through your actions, um, consequences are words that I've been using a lot as well. Now, remember, here's some things to remember. You also will need to have a third body paragraph. You will also need to have a conclusion paragraph. And you will need to write about a more serious topic. I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Uh, but you're not supposed to be writing about Peter Rabbit. You're supposed to be writing about the outsiders. 
But just so that you are aware, I only wrote two body paragraphs. You must write three. So you still need a third body paragraph and a conclusion paragraph. I will write, I will make another video for a conclusion paragraph because those are kind of a beast unto themselves. Hopefully right now, though, this has done a reasonably okay job of showing you at least how to start a literary analysis essay. So we're going to call this Too Much Bunny Trouble Fake Literary Analysis Essay from Miss K. This is also not an endorsement for the animated movie about Peter Rabbit. I have not seen it, and I have no wish to see it. How dare you do such horrible CGI with my beloved Peter Rabbit. Ugh. 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 Anyways, please email me if you have any further questions or concerns, and hopefully this helps. Have a nice day.